said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. I love you. Kind of put him in his place. I love you. In John chapter 9, we had the blind man that when Jesus took the clay and anointed his eyes, he regained his sight. And then there's the man by the pool of Bethesda that he healed on the Sabbath. Jesus did most of his healing on the Sabbath, or at least it was recorded that way. Um, but this made the Jews rage with anger, did it not? And they sought to kill him. And strange, when you're serving God, you get attacked from all angles. Whether it's on the Sabbath or any day, but we know God will lead us through whatever trials may come before serving Him. Now you may say, I can't heal anyone. But didn't the disciples? Well, I know it was the Lord who did the healing, but it was their willingness and faith in doing what He told them to do. I think when we follow the direction of the Lord and what the Spirit leads us, we can do things, we can have God do things through us as well. Now I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to remember an important date while I'm saying remember. Uh, recognize this date. October 31st has a special meaning this year. Uh, it's been highlighted a couple times, but it's the 500 year anniversary of the Protestant Reformation wow. brought on by Martin Luther's 95 <laughs> Those of you who studied Martin Luther in the Reformation may already know the connection between the Reformation and Sabbath. In case you don't, which I didn't, here's something I found. It was actually on the um, website sabbathtruth.com. It was a blog just this past week. As the Reformation began to spread throughout Europe, and as the Bible was translated into common languages, people began to discover the Sabbath truth. Reformers such as Calvin, Knox, and Luther recognized that Sunday observance was based on traditions rather than on scripture. However, the perceived connection between the Jews and the Seventh day Sabbath kept them from completely embracing the biblical Sabbath. Andreas, Andreas Karlstadt, a controversial character in Germany during the Reformation, an associate of Martin Luther became a devout Sabbath keeper. He was well versed in Latin, Greek, and Hebrew, and taught the paramount authority of the scripture above tradition. The 16th century historian, I tried to practice his name, and I must double The other day, so I'm sure somebody knows if Barton were here, he would tell me who it was. He said about Carl's dad, endowed with great powers of mind, he sacrificed his convictions, fame, station, country, and even his bread 